What is happiness? And how is it measured? While other fields have invested much time and effort into exploring such questions, only in recent years have economists begun to investigate the influence of economic factors on subjective happiness. Ada Ferrer y Carbonell, affiliated professor at the Barcelona GSC and ICREA researcher at the Institute of Economic Analysis, is one of the pioneering researchers in the emerging field called happiness economics. Uh, my research in uh, happiness economics uh, explores the relationship between subjective measures of happiness with aspects of life, such as, for example, the income, financial or job situation of an individual. Many of my findings have pointed to the conclusion that own income does not substantially affect individual happiness. Once we control for personal traits, the effect of income on happiness is even further reduced, probably meaning that a happier individual is more likely to earn a higher salary and not vice versa. Additionally, it has been demonstrated that the relationship between a country's average happiness and a GDP per capita gets flattened after a threshold level. Taken together, these findings indicate that income is not an important determinant of happiness, as is usually assumed by economic models. This idea is rather puzzling, as it contradicts most observed behavior, the existing theoretical economics literature, and our common sense. Because of these discoveries, I became interested in studying how well individuals are able to adapt to changes in income. In order to measure the effect of income changes on happiness levels, Professor Ferreri Carbonell and University of Amsterdam Professor Bernard van Prague followed samples of individuals over time, examining how their life satisfaction changes with current, and more importantly, past income changes. We found that individuals partially adapt to income changes, but not entirely. Specifically, Income changes do cause an initial spike or drop in happiness level. However, after the initial shock, an individual's happiness level thus partially falls back to its initial level. Surprisingly, we also found that the positive effect of an income increase on happiness is larger than the negative effect of an income decrease, although adaptation to them follows a similar pattern. Clarifying the role of income and other economic factors in a person's life satisfaction can help researchers create more accurate economic models and design more effective policies, for example, on taxation, pensions, and health care. If happiness makes the world go around, as they say, then happiness economies have a lot of work ahead of them.